You can do it. Further adventures in Japan. Hello. Well, hello, all you wonderful people. You know, today I heard something that just blew my mind. I'd never heard this before in my life. But, you know, I live in Japan, I've been here for a year, and you'd think I would just get used to not knowing things. Obviously, right now, I'm in Osaka Joe Park, which is Osaka Castle Park. Uh, this place has a ton of history. You might even forget about it. There's so much here. There's a scary peace museum. There is a history museum that looks like a dungeon out of a European horror film. Uh, there's amazing gardens and plant life, and a lot of places used to run around. And of course, there's a Saka Joe Castle. A lot of history is in this area. Battles were fought. Now, Universal Studios Japan, which is about 25 minutes away from Osaka Castle, is actually going to come here to one of the gardens for three months and recreate the Sengoku period, which was known as the Warring Period here in Japan. They were trying to unify Japan under one banner, one flag. It didn't take too long, only about 200 years. And the battle that they're actually uh, focusing on, on that building right behind me, Osaka Joe Castle, it was the siege of, uh, of Osaka, or as they say in the native tongue, uh, Osaka no Jin where basically they were trying to get rid of a clan that was held up in this building. Which, by the way, that building was destroyed in the war and recreated in the 1960s, so it's technically not that building, but use your imagination! Also, on the name Osaka no Jin, there was no Jin there as well. I think they preferred Nihonshu, which is Japanese sake. <laughs> now, Universal has decided to use the Nishi no Maru garden, which is right down there, for their entrance to this little event and as reported by the Asahi Shinbun, which is a Japanese newspaper, there's going to be uh, stalls from the 17th century around the time that there would have been a siege here, people dressed up in costume, live performances, projection mappings of the battle on, focus on me, projection <laughs> mappings on the on the on the actual uh, castle itself and even fireworks they're going to be doing this for 3 months out here from december to march which is actually 4 months i can't count but i know disney has like disney on ice disney goes to the mall do you know any uh any theme park that actually is taking a historical battle has gone to that place that has the historical battle and then recreated it. In the Shimbun, um, the, the newspaper article, there's actually a guy riding a horse. They promoted it out here on the 23rd. I missed it. I was not here. I love going to USJ and I, I completely missed it. It's all, all, the only thing you can find this in, the one site that I found this in was on the Shimbun site. The rest is all in Japanese and it's hard to discern, but it's a complex Japanese. Come on guys, make it easier, make it easier. Anyway. But I like, I love Universal, I love the parks. Has Disney ever made like, you know, a live attraction somewhere else that's not like Disney on Ice or a show? Because this is gonna be a spectacle, like, uh, Co not Caligula, but like a W.D. Griffith intolerance. Like if you go out to L.A. by the Man's Chinese Theater, there's a big shopping mall that used to be a, a whole set. That's like using that. This is so cool because it's real. Okay, I'm not a Disney historian, I'm not a theme park historian in any me measure of the word, but I want to know, in California, has Disney ever done something like this? Has a, is Walt Disney plant an orange in Orange County, and now there's like a sign, and every five days they have like a, a magical mystery tour that's there? I don't know about these things. Please tell me if you know. Um, but... Please do me a favor, if you like this video, because this is the end of it, <laughs> if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, do all those wonderful things, leave me a comment down below, tell me where you want me to go in Japan, and I don't know if you're excited to see this as I am, it's only like 2,000, 3,000 yen to see this, it's probably like a big show, it happens at night, that's why there's projections on the actual castle. I'm stoked for it. I want to see it. So look forward to that in December when it comes out, if I'm not in Europe at the time. Oh, oops. I just said I'm in Europe. I'm going to be in Europe in December. I bet you didn't know that. Um, so like, share, subscribe. As I always say, you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. Stay groovy and uh, try not to get knocked off your horse if you're in a, a, a siege of Osaka. Osaka no Hijin.
Oh, also, if you guys were wondering, this is the cat that was uh, filming for me. His name is Toko. He farms, he farms out in Sasayama, and he's a pretty cool guy. Hey. Many thanks, Toko.